here's a brief instruction video on how to operate a model railway if you have one of these model railway Hornby controllers and one of these power clips. So, first of all, this is the transformer that steps the power down from 240 down to 16 volts. This plugs in to the transformer, into the controller. This train controller has stop, reverse and forwards. So make sure it's set to zero and the speed is turned off. This is full on, this is off. Ignore these for the time being. This is what goes to the track. This goes inside the power clip like so. Push it in nice and tight, it should be firmly attached so that it won't fall off. Next, these two prongs need to slide underneath the sleepers into the track, wherever there's a straight piece of track. And what you're looking for is some little spaces like such here and here. You'll notice there's a gap in the sleepers. For the clip to go inside of. You will be able to push both clips through at the same time and then you'll see the, the long one will just need to be folded down so it fits through the other side as well. Eventually it should look like this. So your power is coming from the wall, going down the wire, to the controller, down this wire, to the clip, and B is going to this rail, and A is going to this rail. The train track is now powered. Don't worry if you have a dead end at each end, that doesn't matter. The main thing is that power is connecting to both rails. The next thing you need to do is put your locomotive onto the track. Now you can set the direction and begin to turn the power up. And as you turn the power up, the locomotive will move. Change direction and it will come backwards. So that's all there is to wiring a model railway controller and getting your layout up and running. Any problems usually result in a loose connection here or here, maybe a damage to the wire or a faulty power pack. So if you have problems, first identify whether this is providing power to your controller and this is providing power to your clip. Now I said I would leave these to last. The power coming from the wire goes up and down as you change this, but the power from these two is always the same. It's a constant output of 12 volts. If you connect wires to this, you can use lights, point switches, uh, motors, anything that needs to be permanently on that does not want to be turning up and down as you adjust the power. So always ignore this because if you connect that to your rail, your train will go at the same speed all the time and in the same direction. So I hope this has been of help. If you like my channel, please like and subscribe and look forward to seeing you again.